Bitcoin is now nine years old and we have the moment Satoshi himself conceptualized Bitcoin. Genius. A year and a half later, some man would buy two Bitcoins for 10, no, let me start that again. Two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoins, today valued at $150 million. However, should we feel sorry for this man? He probably had more Bitcoins than that. And as this poster points out, can't eat a Bitcoin. Bitcoin does not have cheese. You can't get a Bitcoin with stuffed crust. Really puts things into perspective. Bitcoin dominance at the lowest I've ever seen it. 32% the volume is high. The market cap is high. Bitcoin dominance is low. So I got a package today and it said... MON to SAT, so Monday to Saturday, and I read Moon to Satoshi. That's probably a sign saying that there's just too much crypto in my life. The market is so incredibly active right now. I was trying to use three different exchanges and all three of them I had difficulties, slows, or just straight up not working. Yes, due to traffic reasons, a lot of traders right now are excited about these gains. This kind of growth worries me a little bit. Like Ethereum over $1,000? That doesn't. 150% for Tron after the day of 50% 50 50 before? That's insane. For a market cap worth billions? You never used to see this stuff at all. So here's exactly how to play the market right now. It might seem super simple, but this is actually what's happening. This isn't financial advice, by the way. This is my opinion. The market is currently favoring coins that are relatively cheap, that have high circulating supplies. Ripple, Cardano, Tron, Stellar. Someone actually makes a very useful infographic about it. So this chart shows the growth from the last seven days for coins ranked by price over on the far. That side we have coins that the, the price for a single coin is over $500. That has the least amount of traction this week. The coins between 10 cents and $1 have 131% gains. This is the top 100 by market cap, by the way. And coins less than 10 cents, 106% gains. With that said, this is only one factor of many. Partnerships, announcements, technical updates, these types of things are extremely important as well. I don't mean to minimize that. And correlation doesn't always imply causation. However, if you were to have used this principle in the last week, you would have had success. So take it or leave it. But let's be real here. We all want this roller coaster to keep going. What is love?